horses in bathing suits. That's right, you heard me. Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. Well, today is the haul. The haul from the Exit 76 Antique Mall that I, the video was up yesterday. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it in the description down below so you can go back and watch that shop with me. Everything that I'm about to show you, which is a lot, so this may be a little bit, little bit longer of a video because I actually have lots of littles and smalls, which you guys know that I love. Lots of kitsch, lots of fun, lots of great things. So settle in, get a drink, and let's go ahead and get on with the haul. Where do I begin? There's so many fun things here. Why don't we begin with these cute little things? I paid $8.50 for this adorable cream and sugar set. Here is the, I think that they're lambs. This is the creamer, and so his little bow here is how you pour your cream out. But I think they're little lambs or little sheep. I love the flowers that are transfer wear on there. These kind of look Shawnee to me. I'm not for sure, but they, that's the, the the vibe that I'm getting from these guys. There is this one, this is the Open Sugar. Adorable, they were $8.50. I've never seen them before. I thought that they were adorable, so I got them. All right, I also picked up these cute little cat and cat salt and pepper shakers. They don't have their noisemakers anymore, but they're just a fun little cat things. People like cats. I love cats. I like cat things. So they do have their stoppers still. They're just little side eye cats. They're really, really cute. So I got those. Those are just a nice decor piece. People like cats. They're fun. They're kitschy. So I got those. I got a lot of salt and pepper shakers that day. I did. Um, well, let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and start showing you some of the salt and pepper shakers that I did get. I got these little geese. They're from Oregon, Seaside, Oregon. They're little souvenir pieces. This one says Seaside and that one says Oregon. And that is just probably was added later. They were blanks and then whomever decided to sell these in their gift store could put this little decal on there. But I like that they are a souvenir piece and they both have their stoppers. They are made in Japan. Cute little ducks. I got some fish. I like these fish shakers because they're so colorful and they're different, but they have these faces on them that I love, but they're little like angel fish, I guess. But look at their little face. I don't know. I just like them. I like their colors. They're in excellent condition. They both have their stoppers still. So I got those. And I thought that you guys would like seeing them too. These I've actually sold before. Um, they are made by, uh, just a quality product is the sticker on them. But they are these little, almost like, they almost look like little, little stuffed animals because they look like they have the stitching. Look at their happy little face. I have sold these, I think, in blue or pink. But it has the label right there. They're in excellent condition. They still have their stoppers. Just two happy little little green puppy dogs. Great for a spring, uh, a spring display. And then I got another little set of dogs that kind of have, they kind of mimic that same style that they look like they've been stitched. And there are these little terrier dogs with blue bows. They look so angry. They Don't they? <laughs> They're just angry. They've got these really pretty flowers that are painted on there, but they still have that stitching design. They're also made in Japan. They also both have their stoppers, just cute little, little terrier dogs. Now, I will say that all of these things will be, well, most of them, some things I'm going to be listing on eBay, and I'll explain to you why when I get to those things. But the majority of these things are going to be listed or going to be sold in my weekly live sales that I have every Wednesday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. These are the kinds of fun things that I sell every week. Or if you are interested in something before I show it in a, in a picture for a haul, for the, or an advertisement for the sale, you can send me an email, thrifterjunk or vintagehunter at gmail.com. We can work out the details and see if you can purchase something from me before it's shown in a sale preview. All right, let's continue with the salt and pepper shakers. Let me just mix, see if I've gotten, because I did buy a couple singles 
Oh, here's a here's a set. These are red wear. Oh, I love these. They're the red wear Dumbo elephants. Now I don't think that they're licensed through Disney, but they look like Dumbo. Don't they look like Dumbo? They would have been had their cold paint on them. The cold paint is pretty much wiped away other than a little bit of red in his mouth. They are redware, made in Japan. Very cute little redware elephant shakers. I did get some Santas. These are really cute. Little Santa shakers. And I am going to be selling these. Now, I don't keep every Santa in the world. I do sell some Santas. And these guys I am going to sell. However, as I'm looking at them, I'm really liking them because look at his sack. It's like a lime green. So that's a different colorway to me. But it's just Santa waving. Hello. They have their stoppers. They're made in Japan. Excellent condition. The red is cold painted on there, which means it is the, it doesn't have a glaze over the top of it. So if you put this in the in the sink, it's going to wash away. So you have to be very careful when you take care of these. That's why it's just good just to set them on a shelf and enjoy them so you don't have to you know, wash them out. But they are very, very clean. So I got those and I got a set of treasure craft. Ooh, carefully. So these are the little fish from Hawaii, little souvenir treasure craft fish in their little stand. I like how they have like a little bit of a different coloring on their fins. So that adds a little bit of interest, I think, to it. They are treasure craft souvenir piece. They do both have their stoppers. They're in great condition. I love these. And whenever I see treasure craft, I always think of George, old uncle professor George and his, he's gotten us all loving the treasure craft. He does. We blame it all on George. That's a good thing to be blamed on George. So that's okay. Oh, uh, let me just scan around here. Did I get any other double salt and pepper shakers? I don't think so. I did get some singles. Now I like singles. You know, they're just fun. You can just put them on a shelf. You can put them in, in a plant or in a terrarium. Uh, but I love this one because I believe that this one is California pottery. And it's a stork seagull. It's a bird. It's a, it's a beach bird. Or sea pigeons, as some people call them. But I think that it's a, not a flamingo. I think it's a seagull. I actually have always called, you know, I call things different things. I just always have, and so is my dad. It's just something that we do, but I have always called seagulls sea guns. Ever since I was a little girl, they are still called sea guns to me. I don't know why I called them that. I just did, but that it's a sea gun or a seagull, but I liked it. It's California pottery. It's just a nice chunky piece of pottery. I like the way that he feels. I like the way that he looks. I like that he almost looks like he's sitting up on a lighthouse or a wall of some sort. I don't know, but I just liked it. So I got that one and I also picked up this one. This one is so cute. I have the remnants of the price tags on here, but this one is a little kangaroo and she is like, she is panicked over something. She's calling out looking for who knows what. Hello? Where are you at? See, she's got her little hand up there. The little baby just looks like he's just having a good time. The little Joey in her pouch. I wish that she had her partner. I don't know what her partner was, but look at her face. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's made in Japan. She's so worried. She can't figure out what's going on here. She's looking for somebody. And then I got this guy. Now, this one is made in Japan. I love him. I might be keeping him, just so you know. But look at his eyelashes. He's just a little long-necked lamb with a little bow. I love his expression on his face. He's made in Japan. He's a shaker, but he's a single shaker. But I really like this one. I think I am going to keep that one. I, the jury's still out on the, on the seagull. I'll have to see about that one. 
And then I did pick up this one. Now, this is Treasure Craft, believe it or not. Treasure Craft had a, well, they had a whole line of different things as they evolved, you know, in the 80s. And they had this like little Aztec design. And this is just a single, but it is Treasure Craft. You can see here on the bottom. But this is just a little coyote or dog of some sort, a little southwestern dog. I love the color on him. I liked his little kerchief in that seafoam green with the pink polka dots. I just think that he would be a nice little accent piece. You know, he's a single fella, but that, that doesn't mean he doesn't still have some purpose. But he's just howling. I like that. So I picked him up too. All right, did I get any more shakers of any kind? Mm, no. Okay, I did get some more ceramic figurines. I love, it's just, it's, it's, I, lo I love them, they make me happy. And these, I think, were in the video. These are made in Japan. They're twins. I am going to sell them separately, though. They're exactly alike, but they're these little cats with a little green ball of yarn. I love their green eyes, and they kind of look like tiger cats. They're marked Japan on the bottom. His little brother is exactly the same. Also marked Japan on the bottom. No chips or cracks on them anywhere. So I got those guys and they will be selling them separately. And I got the little fuzzy family. And I, I'm probably going to sell these together as one lot. This is Freddy the Furry Kitten. He's got fuzzy wuzzy ears. Freddy the Furry Kitten made by Inesco, still has his tag. And then we also have, this is also Freddy the Furry Kitten. So we have a, a Freddy the Kitten in blue and a Freddy the Kitten in white. Also has the original hang tag. And then we've got the little baby. Now I don't know what the baby's name is because it doesn't have a name. It was part of a chain gang. And I'm wondering if this was a chain gang. I'm wondering if it had another baby with it. It has a little, the little loop right there. And that usually signifies that they were attached to a mama. So I believe that these go together and there was probably a third one, but I only have the two, but I am, I probably will sell these two as a set and maybe this one separately. I don't know yet, but I think that they're so cute and they're so kitschy and they're so fun. I really like those. All right. What other figurines? Oh, <laughs> these were in the video too i these are just fun i mean they're not salt and paper pepper shakers they're just figurines they're hand painted they are these horses in bathing suits that's right you heard me horses in bathing suits now this one's sitting all saucy <whistles> look at her Woo! she is trying to get all the fellas attention now, they are souvenirs from Nashville, Tennessee. The remnant of that souvenir sticker is there. And there here is her little friend. And I like that the tail has a cutout in the, in the uh, bathing suit. But they're just fun. I mean, I have never seen such a thing. And I think that they're fun. And I just knew that somebody out there would love them as much as I do. So I did, I did get them. They're just great and so saucy. So I know that you probably don't have or have seen a figurine of horses in bathing suits. But if you'd like one, I got one for you. All right. I also got these. Now, these are made by Jane Fonts. She's out of California. I have some of these figurines at home that I that my mom has given to me. Um, they are very, very hard to find. It's a Jane Fonts original. California pottery. I just love, they're just simple, but they're just, their gloss is just perfection. And she's got a little pocket right there, which I think is pretty neat. Um, but they normally came with a boy, so there was a boy and a girl, and it's like the the girl's acting all shy, and usually the boy is doing something macho. Th these came together, but I don't think that they were originally together. They're very different. Now, this one's not marked Jane Fonts, so this one could very well be a Jane Fonts imposter because it's similar, but it's different. So I'm not quite sure about this fella. 
but you can see their skin tone is very different. They were sold as a set, so I did get them both together, but I don't think that they originally went together. I love this set. This These may have been spoken for, so I will let you know. I have somebody that is interested in them that has seen them, so I will let you know, but they're a lot of fun. And I got this little choir boy. I have a collection of these, a small collection of these angels and choir boys. They were made out of sort of like a paper, like a, a like a paper mache, kinda. But you see, he's got he's got some chippy chippy chippity chips. But and his head's actually been repla repaired. But I just I I have a whole shelf full of these at Christmas time. So I'm gonna add him to. Uh, to my little my little uh, display at Christmas time. I got some little, well, this is just fun. I have a couple of little container type things that I got. This, I, I may keep this too because I'm redoing my bathroom a little bit. I'm gonna be selling my laxative tins and I'm just kind of putting some fun little kitschy things on my shelf. She's a little chip out of her cheek, but she's vitamin pills. So her little hat comes off and you can keep your vitamins inside her head. Look at her face. Now you see she's got a little chip on her cheek there. This is made by um, Shafford in Japan. What does it have a date? 1960. I just thought it was hilarious. So you take your vitamin pills and it'll, it'll give you, it'll make you happy and peppy just like her. So I'm thinking I might I might keep her for a little bit and put her in my bathroom. She's 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 pretty good. I like her. And then I got these. These are wonderful little redware poodle. It's a little poodle condiment set. They are redware. They're in great condition. They have their hats. Now the cold paint um, is a little, is missing a little bit from their faces. I mean, it's still kind of there. Look at them. Now the lid, there is a little issue with one of the lids and they tried to cover it up, but I could, I could tell it and I could tell it when I bought it, but there's a little chip right there and you can see they probably took a Sharpie just to, just to disguise it a little bit. So that's the only flaw that I see with them, but so fun. The little poodle condiment set. That is awfully fun. And I got a couple of small little planters. This one was just cute. It's just a little duck. Little duck and a squirrel. Perfect for a little air plant or succulent. It's made in Japan. It's just a fun little planter. And I like it that it's just so small and dainty. And then this one I liked as well. And I don't know if I'm going to keep this one. It's actually an ashtray. Um, it was $4.50, but it's a little pig who painted a heart. And it is an ashtray. You can see right there where the cigarette would rest. So these little ashtrays can be pretty popular and pretty collectible too. It's made in Japan. I just think it would be cute for a Valentine's Day display. So I don't know. I don't know about him yet. Don't know. I got another ashtray, a big ashtray. And it was, the, and I almost thought, I kind of thought it was a pet dish when I first got it. It's got this little dog on the side and it has the little divots here for the cigarettes, but it's in really good condition. It's also made in Japan. There's no chips on it. Some of the paint, I don't know if some of the paint is missing. I don't think it is. I think it's just supposed to be like in areas. So there's a little bit of yellow and white and yellow and white. I just thought it was really fun and cute. And look at the dog, little terrier dog with his blue bow. It's just different. You could put a plant in here. It would be a cute little pot for a plant. And I also got this planter of these snooty dogs. They're so snooty. It's like Thurston Howell the Third, and Lovey. Is that what he called her, Lovey? I don't remember what her her actual name was. But this is just USA Pottery. I just thought it was cute. Cute little snooty dogs sitting by a fence. And I have been picking up these boot planters. I did pay $4.80 for this one. It's made in Occupy Japan, but it's a little cowboy boot or cowgirl boot. These beautiful flowers hand painted on there. It's just different, right? Little planter boot. 
And I got this very mid-century modern horse head planter. The horse has jeweled eyes. It's very mid-century modern. Also made in Japan. I love Japan ceramics. I know they're not the best made things in the world. They're not like, you know, like friends that really love Austrian and German figures and pottery and stuff. But me, I like the old kitschy Japan things. But I thought that he was a lot of fun. Very mid-century modern. I think you are a horse. You're not a giraffe. No, if you were a giraffe, you would have more spots. But you're a horse and you are fun. And this guy, this is, I do believe, a Shawnee, and it was $3. So $3, you know what? You could be American Bisque. You could be American Bisque, but it's a little duck planter. It's $3. That's an amazing price. Very, he's in very good condition. American made pottery. He's nice and chunky and good. And I got a turkey. Y'all, I'm telling you what, you wait till you, when you see how I have my turkeys displayed for Thanksgiving, you will wish that you had a turkey too. I believe that this is a Royal Copley turkey. I have to look at my book to see for sure if he is, but I do believe that he is, and I don't have this one. So he is awfully fun. He is marked USA, but he's very nicely painted. That's what made me think it was Royal Copley because of the way that it's painted more so than, than the shape of the bottom, but I like him. I'm keeping him. He's going in my, he's going in my turkey collection. And I picked up another one of these um, little eyeglass holders, little dog. I have sold these several times. And what you do is you take your glasses off at night and you can put them on your little dog face. So this was actually, I think this one was 50% off. And it has... A little bit of wax on its tongue, but it was painted by Lorraine in 1979. And she did a fine job, really. He's all glossy painted. All this all this paint has a gloss over it. So he is good to go. And I got a little composite. I'm kind of going a little fast, aren't I? Well, you know, sometimes I do. I got this little composite girl, and I'm keeping her. I'm adding her to my doll collection and she's got a cape. She's royalty and she's a little naggy. We'll cover her up a little bit, but she's a little composite doll given the side eye. She's got her little hand up here on her chest. Now she is missing half of her foot, which I think is charming. And I like that she is missing half of her foot. I don't know why she's got this cape on, but she is fancy. I love her and I'm adding her to my other dolls. I did get a tomato strawberry pincushion because I'm starting a little collection of these. You saw in the video that there was a bowl, a silver bowl that was filled with these and I fell in love with it. Well, I happened to find a, well, actually dad found a silver bowl. I took it home. So now I am looking for these when I can find them and I'm going to fill my silver bowl up with these little pin cushions. I liked that look. I thought it was a lot of fun. Oh, I, I didn't show this guy. I got a Holt Howard, y'all. I got a Holt Howard Santa for $4. He is a single Santa, and I'm going to sell him during my Christmas sale. So he isn't for sale yet. I am going to have a Christmas sale uh, in November, and this is a Holt Howard Winking Santa. He is the salt shaker. I have the complete set already at home, so I don't need a second one. It is Holt Howard. Has its label on the bottom. He's in nice condition. So if you're missing, if you need the salt, and you have the pepper, I've got the salt. That's going to be for sale during my Christmas sale. I'm just going to go ahead and jump into Christmas because that's, yeah, that's what I got next. That's what I got here next. I have these little choir boys. Oh, these are so cute. They are, they are made in Japan, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, made in Japan by Delta Novelty Company. And I'm probably going to keep these two, maybe. I might add them to my shelf of choir boys and angels. Look at them. The little spun heads. Ooh. This one has, it's Delta Novelty Company, so it still has... It's original sticker there. And they're just little shelf sitters, basically. I don't know if they had hats or if they're 
because they're you know they're, they got some hair loss there but I like them so I mean, I don't know I might keep those for this year I do that sometimes I'll keep something for a little while and then and then I'll sell it the next year I did get a little pixie or you know I call them prixies he's riding on a magic carpet ride he's a little knee hugger I am going to be selling this one as well in, during my Christmas sale. Stay tuned for that. I will be letting you know when that's going to be. I don't quite know yet. It's coming up, isn't it? It's just right around the corner. Next month is November. Like in a couple weeks. So I got to get that figured out. So he'll be available in that. And now these, I got three of these. I am keeping one. I may give one away to a friend of mine and I will sell the other one. But these are from the Purity Made products. It's from your milkman. They're flocked advertisements that were probably given out from your milkman. It's like a holiday card. So there's this one. This one I'm definitely keeping because of the little elf. Gosh, I don't know. Maybe I have to keep two of these. And then there's this one. I mean, these were $3 a piece which is a great price, but I love them. I don't know. Don't know about those yet. I love them. These I don't know about either because I think that they would be, I, you know, here's the thing. I love Christmas things and it's hard for me to sell some of this stuff. These are, uh, it's, it's a bag full of heads. I got a bag full of angel heads. And the creepy thing is, is all their eyes are closed. But what you do, and look at, they've got some crazy hair. They've got that fantastic blue eyeshadow, but you put their heads in your Christmas lights and their heads light up. So I kind of think that might be kind of good. Although I have a different kind of Christmas bulb on my tree and I don't know that they would work. So I don't know, but I mean, you can have six heads on your tree of angels. That's fun, right? I think so. I know that you think so too. And I also got this and I'm probably going to keep this too. I'm going to add this to my Santa collection. This is by Cleo Ward in Memphis, Tennessee. He very much is kind of how whole, how words, Missy. He is very much Holt Howard looking in a way. I mean, he's not, but he kind of reminds me of that. But I don't know if these were just given away or they were just party favors, but I liked it. Oh, here it is, his Cleo Ward. So I'm gonna keep that, and I like that he's tall, so I can add him to my Santas, my army of Santas. Oh, and I got this, and I'm keeping this too, because I do collect these. These are the plastic, and I know I'm gonna get messages about these because you all like these too, but so do I. And I can't find these very readily and when I do find them I buy them and I keep them but this is a little candy plastic candy container with Santa on it um I don't think he has a date on him anywhere but I'm keeping him and adding him to the rest of my my Santa stuff now I probably once I get my Christmas items down for my attic I am going to thin out my stash so I may be having a Christmas sale kind of closer to Christmas than, I mean, I, I might have a couple. Let's just put it that way. I may have to have a couple or I'll be trinkling some in into some more hauls. This I am selling. I need to see if this works. So I might do that real quick, but I'll show you the box first. But it is a ster sterling cellophane wreath. In its original box and I'll show you the wreath. Woo! Look at that. It probably does work. I mean if anything the bulb maybe is burned out and all you have to do is just replace you know they're just you know the little Christmas bulbs here. I think that this is very hello kind of framing my face in. I think it's very neat and it's the cellophane that they've made into a wreath. I unplugged one of my lights over there but ooh, ah it does work and the cord is very good on it too so this is one thing that i i will be selling you know it's going to be hard for me because i think that it's fabulous 
So that will be sold, but not until my Christmas sale. So I'm, I'm saving it for that. And I got some dominoes. These were a dollar. I like the box. These make good displays, but for a dollar, I, I, I'm, I'm going to leave them in the box and I may, I probably will just sell them, but they are wooden. They're not Bakelite. They're the Empire State. I think that they are, there are a couple of them missing, maybe two of them missing, um, but they are made by, who are you made by? They're double sixes made by, now the box is in a little rough condition, but Howlsome. But these look great in a display. And I actually like to fill them dominoes in containers and jars. Even if you find them loose, you can do things like that with them. This is fun. It is Busy Duster. You can put your dust rags in here. It's got a little pocket. So you can hang this up in your pantry to put your dust rags in. Look at her. She's cleaning out her rug, dusting it out outside. I have never seen one of these, and I love that it has these little grommets that you can hang on your wall. Isn't this fun? I will be selling this, but man, I've never seen one like that before, and I think that it's it's a lot of fun. I'm scanning. Oh, I got a frame. Now, this frame is missing the stand, but it's just one of those Art Deco gold and black frames look really nice with an old picture and I probably am going to put an old picture in and I'll sell it during a live sale with the old picture in it. I should have put these stuff, this stuff down and organized it a little bit better. I did find these. These, I think I put these in the video. I think that these, I don't know if they're cherries or if they're apples. What do you think? Do you think apples or do you think cherries? As soon as I say that they're apples, then I think, wait a minute, I think that they're cherries. I don't know. But this is a nice piece of chalkware. It has the hanger on it. It's in really nice condition. The colors are still vibrant. It has one little chip right there, but a very fun and kitschy piece. And that will be available during a live sale. The last two things I'm going to show you are my two... No, no. I got one more thing before I show you the last two things. And that's this tin. It is a biscuit tin and it's got all of these birds. It's a lithograph tin. I like the design down here. I like all of the different birds on it and that design goes along the top two. It isn't named, like it's, I don't know who made it. It's not a day or tin or anything, but I just thought it was really nice because of the the coloring on it and the fact that it had birds on it. At least I don't think that there's a maker mark on it anywhere. I'm not seeing one, but nice little biscuit can. Now we'll get to my two favorite pieces. The first one is this beautiful Miller Studios angelfish or tailfish, goldfish. It's a fish. But I'm telling you what this looks like, it you just it was just made. It is, it's not new. It's, 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 it's vintage. It's dated 1964 Miller Studios. It is in perfect condition. It, I mean, the coloring on this is pearlescent and lovely with the seafoam green. It is, it's, I have never seen one in as perfect condition as this one. Normally when you find them, there'll be a little nick in them somewhere. Now she would have had smaller ones that went with her, probably two smaller ones and maybe a couple bubbles that went with her. But she's lovely. Oh, she's perfect. So she will be available during a live sale. I'm not taking offers for her right now because I am going to sell her in a live sale. And then my very favorite thing, and this guy is going on eBay, and I'll tell you why. And it is this Carmark cat. This is the wall climbing cat. And Jeffrey has just recently sold one of these. And, well, it's been a couple months ago, but I remember 
I remembered it well enough that when I saw this one, I actually sent him a message and I said, is that the same cat? And, and he said, yes, it is. It, you can faintly see that it's marked car mark right there. You're not going to be able to see it because I can barely see it with my naked eye. But this guy right here sells on eBay for over $200. Yes, I know. I, why? I don't know. I don't know why, but it does. Uh, so yeah, this is going to go on eBay. So this was the find of the day. And honestly, th this guy alone will pay for pretty much everything that I bought. So everything else will be pure profit after the sale of this guy. Isn't that, that's just, I mean, this is what we, we're looking for. We're looking for that needle in the haystack. Now I did pay $12 for him. So I did pay up for him, but we're always looking for that needle in the haystack. And this was it. So I'll keep you posted um, on when that sells. I've been waiting to list it because I needed to get this haul done. So now that the haul is done, I'm going to get him listed and I will keep you posted on on his status. That is what I got from Exit 76 Antique Mall. And it just goes to show you that going to an antique mall, you can find things to resell for a profit. Okay? He was in an antique mall and he will pay for everything else that I bought. So don't, don't leave antique malls out when you're going and looking for things for resale because there are deals to be had and you can definitely find things that you can resell for a profit. So check out your check out your local antique mall this weekend and see what you can find there. It's always a lot of fun anyway, even if you just go in there to look at the fun stuff. But thank you so, so much for sitting with me during this long video. But, you know, I wanted to show you everything and, you know, I like to talk. So, you know, it was just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But I appreciate you hanging around and watching. Make sure that you do hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. Those are two of the most important things that you can do for one of your favorite YouTube creators is hitting the thumbs up, leaving a comment, and hitting the notification bell so you can get notified whenever we put up a video. Those are the three things that you can do to help us out the most. So make sure that you do try to do that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.